Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the global playoffs of Route 909 featuring the crew. Now, we've had a fantastic journey since the 16th of May, and we're slowly getting towards the end of this amazing experience. Now, to talk a bit more about Route 909, I've brought on Nicholas. Now, he's been here with us last time. He's joined us once again. He is the producer of Route 909. And so, Nico, come on, just give us a bit more information about what's going on and, and how far we've come in this short amount of time. Yeah, so since uh, the 16th of May, uh, the crew has been exclusively available at the eight gaming centers uh, around the world, uh, which is uh, an amazing opportunity uh, to get such a game uh, in an early access uh, mode uh, as a work in progress so far from release. Uh, it will be released, they announced it yesterday on uh, November 11th, 11th yep. at the end of this year. So uh, we made the game uh, available uh, to those eight gaming centers and uh, we organize contests uh, for people to uh, have a good reason to actually you know, get their hands on the game, discover how big it is, how uh, varied it is. Uh, and so those contests were um, exploration, uh, customization, and uh, crew battles. And uh, actually, um, the exploration contest is over. Uh, New York won. And the two others, we're going to see them come to an end just over the two days that are coming now. And we saw a fantastic s display of skill from New York there with the Explore contest. They just did it in such an incredible time and, and such fast speed, and they, they really took to the game. And this is what we're seeing in a lot of these gaming centers. They really enjoyed the fact that they've been given such a unique chance to play this game before it's come out. And we saw just yesterday when we announced about the beta keys, so many more people were looking to yeah. shout and grab at it. So how can we actually get hold of some of these beta keys? Because I know we've got quite a few to give away. So uh, we're going to have a contest going on both uh, on Twitter uh, and uh, in the Twitch chat. Uh, so on Twitter, uh, you should log on to uh, uh, 909 route, uh, twitter.com slash 909 route. Uh, and um, for the Twitch chat, it's the, the crew game channel. But if you're here, you know about it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> They're listening live right now. <laughs> <laughs> so. Away from this now, we're going to bring on a, a couple of guests of ours, and it's going to be MMCK, who is our analyst, and he focuses on the specifics of the game. He knows a lot about races. He spent a lot of time around it. And we've also got a, a member from DS Rack, who's actually one of the teams competing here, Nicholas as well. So we've got two Nicholases. Let's not try to get a bit confused here. Um, but he'll be joining us as well, and he'll be doing some shoutcasting and analysts with us as well, and he's put a lot of time in the game. So let's bring them two on now. Welcome to the stage, guys. Hi. Welcome. Hi. So, Hi. Nicholas, I'll start with you. You've put a lot of hours into this game already. You've been one of the select few that's been able to play sure. a serious amount of time here. How much time have you put into the game, and uh, what are some of the features that you've really enjoyed so far? Well, I've, I've played uh, from anywhere between like 8 and 10 hours a day for a month now. So, <laughs> so that's, that's, that's quite a lot already. That's 400 hours... Uh, Roughly, I don't know, it's a bit more on weekends. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed, uh, like I'm a competitive gamer. I enjoy beating others and just uh, being the absolute nightmare to face. And, uh, what are you going to do if Denmark don't do so well this time Exactly, like, I had to leave my team to be here. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be dishing out pain back home if they don't take home the victory. Hey, Nicholas, I gotta ask, were you the, the one writing the tweets? Uh, yeah, yeah, ah, I've okay. been taunting. <laughs> no, I get it. I've okay. been taunting back and forth. Yeah, I wanna yeah, yeah. <laughs> you sounded motivated on those yeah, things. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I really wa have been motivated from the very beginning of this. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just sad that we didn't get into the Explore contest as fast as the, as the others because we uh, banged out a strategy to get it done fast. And uh, we actually managed to overtake, uh, I believe, Montreal and one other that was just one part short of uh, finishing the Explore contest and that's when we started and we finished before them. So, pr pretty impressive start for Denmark and I guess yeah. a team that we need to watch out for. Yeah, we, we took a 48 hour stretch wow. right there. <laughs> so, so, MMCK, you've joined us here as an analyst. You're, you're an incredibly hardcore racer. Give us a little bit of a, a background on you and what you thought of the crew so far. The crew is incredible. I really like the way how they involve the community in uh, doing uh, events like this. And it's uh, been uh, very nice to see uh, the uh, gameplay with uh, teams. And, and you're a very experienced racer, so yes. let's talk about some of your history on racing games. 
Uh, I've been playing a uh, lot of uh, racing games uh, since a youngster. I've uh, uh, I really like the open world games like uh, TDU and uh, TDU2, and the crew is even much bigger than that. So I'm really excited for this game. Fantastic. Mm. Now, another thing that we need to look at a bit here is the the customization contest, which is going on right now. There's a we spoke about the explore contest. We know what's going on with the crew battles, but a customization contest that's been. Pretty, pretty fun so far. Looking at some of the designs these pl these players have come up with. Um, what have you guys had a look at the Facebook page? Have you seen the the customized designs? What do you guys think? Well, not only have I seen the others, but I've helped make uh, DS. Oh, so you made the DS rack ones yeah, as well? I, I was the crew leader for ah, the last so month. There we go. So, uh, uh, but yeah, we've been looking at all uh, all the different ideas for designs and uh, they've come up with some really good ones. Like we felt a bit uh, short on that one actually ah, so you're not, not not the best on all of it just yet you got a little bit more time to put into customization. we, we prefer being fast over pretty you have so. to make up for the <laughs> driving yes so we're gonna do you know we're gonna see more of the customization contest uh today and tomorrow on the stream uh we're gonna have videos presenting uh one car for each gaming center uh and people can keep voting uh for the customization contest up until um June 11th, so uh, tomorrow, uh, you can vote on uh, Facebook, facebook.com slash route909 uh, in the uh, contest gallery. You just have to like the pictures uh, to vote uh, for the cars that uh, you, uh, uh, you think are, are good looking, of course. So on top of all this great stuff we've got going on, we've also got uh, a, a real life mechanic here for our mechanic minute to join us. Now, the thing with the mechanic minute is going to be Every now and again, he's going to pop in. We're going to have a have a quick chat with him. We've got MMCK here as our analyst and racing expert. And what our mechanic's going to do, he's going to be able to kind of tell us what's going on inside the engine. He's going to be able to tell us how these react in-game and out of game. So um, that's going to be quite a lot of fun. But what we've got going on next, we're going to just look on to Facebook uh, here. Now we actually see the, we can see the customization, the, the customization uh, gallery. Uh, if you go back up, yeah, here are the eight pictures. Uh, on the Facebook page, uh, so you just have to like uh, those pictures and um, to vote uh, for the gaming center that you like. I guess now maybe we could take a look at the the crew battles playoffs tree. Yeah, let's let's have a look at the tree and see who's going to be going head to head today. So we're having a quick look at this. You can see the first race is going off. We're going to see meltdown. Oh, it's it's France versus France to start off so with as well. And actually, it's, <laughs> it's going to be tomorrow. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, June 11th at 10.15 uh, CT. So this is going to be tomorrow. The first one to today is going to be K-Club uh, versus DS Rack. So your team, Nicholas, against the uh, <laughs> guys from Dubai. They're going to start it off rough. Uh, we have a strategy for every map uh, ahead of us. So, uh, yeah, you're going to see some pain being dished out for sure. <laughs> Ooh. Good one. I'm looking forward to this. Will you be playing? You're here with us, but will you be playing? Uh, no, I won't. Okay, okay. So, we're going to go straight into the Mechanic Minutes now, and he's going to be joining us very shortly, giving a quick introduction to what he's doing, and um, he should be with us very shortly. So, uh, we're going to welcome Charlie uh, on the set, actually. Uh, the, the, the last, uh, you know... Um, uh, bit of content that we're going to be showing uh, for these two days is the all along Route 909 uh, section of the show. Basically, we're going to have four testers, four people from the dev team at uh, Ivory Tower uh, joining us on the set, playing the crew while uh, the show is going on. And they will be uh, roaming the US uh, from uh, you know one uh, stop to another. And uh, we're going to welcome Charlie now on the set and he's going to be telling us about this. Thank you, guys. Okay, so <laughs> there. we're gonna we're gonna do a quick we're swap gonna around. Swap I'm gonna have to to take a mic. I'm sorry for that. That's fine, Charlie. We want you aboard. So you've got your little team here with us, and um, they're gonna be showing us a lot of the in-game content because it was such a big success when we did our first stream yeah. before. Everyone wanted to see more of the crew. Everyone wanted to see some some more of the scenery, and it is such a beautiful game. I'm sure that you agree with so us. So that's as well, that's precisely yes. what you're saying. Basically, as Nicolas briefly explained. What we heard from the the past that uh, like the previous uh, stream is that people wanted to see more of the game. Yes, we like so the live streams. It's, <laughs> it's very <laughs> yeah. A and the way you know we we wanted to uh, to make it happen, so we decided on uh, creating the route 909 with the viewers. So what they can do is decide on the next uh, stop, you know, for or four uh, developers from Ivory Tower who are here with us today on set. 
uh, and actually the previous poll just closed. And so I think that their first destination is going to be Mont Rushmore. Uh, yeah, I, I like that as a good starting point. That's going to be nice. That's so we're going to see them drive from Detroit HQ, I believe, and all the way to Mount Rushmore. Yeah, yeah. But before that, there's something important we we want to say to the audience is that uh, not only can you decide on Route 909, uh, but there are also uh, it's also a way for you to gain uh, better access. So by retweeting one of the locations you want to vote for, uh, we are also you know t uh, write down your names and you know we'll draw some uh, happy winners who we will send uh, better access, better keys to. Very nice. So, so make sure you guys are out there voting on which place you want to see Charlie's team go to and where you want to see them visit in the crew. And on top of that, you'll be able to be picked maybe at random and win a, a chance to see one of the beta keys. So should we have a quick look at your crew? I like, yeah, sure. I like to see the faces of the devs on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> That's, really. That's a popular demand. So first, uh, we start here with our friend, uh, so Matt Damon, a conspicuous name. <laughs> uh, so Matt, Matt has a thing for Fast and Furious, so he basically read the skyline uh, from the movie, only he has really weird tastes. So he's applied like a, a wave sticker onto it. It looks like a, a go faster stripes of um, water there. Yeah, he, he's sort of a surfer himself. Uh, he <laughs> likes to, to go on the beach. Surfer. Uh, so that reminds him of, you know, like his uh, surfing times in Australia. Um, next to Matt, so we have Freya. Now Freya is more, has some German blood. So what he likes is really safe cars, like that BMW Z4. Uh, what do you think of that, Banks? I think it's just kind of a, a, a standard looking car, but I guess it will drive a lot faster, but it looks very sleek. I like the colors. Blue's a color that I like, so I'm not going to complain there. I quite agree. So next, on to uh, Ukroni. So now Ukroni is all about vintage cars. Can you show us what you've got, Ukroni? Can you show us your car? He's going a little bit old school. Exactly. He's going old school. He's going vintage. So he went for the Dodge uh, Charger Charger RTMI. Uh, so as you can see, he's applied some matte painting onto it. He also has like uh, a badass skull on the hood. <laughs> he's going to put that fear in his opponents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to scare them off the track at the same time. And then we have someone who's a lot more uh, into modern cars. Modern uh, So we have Bobo. So Bobo is driving a uh, Dodge uh, Challenger. Uh, so he's right in the headquarters. And now those guys are going to head off to their uh, first destination. So as we say, Mont Rushmore. And I'm sure we will get to enjoy all of the beautiful sights of Mount so Rushmore. So here I'd like to focus on, uh, on Bobo. Uh, so Bobo is going to exit the headquarters. And so as you can see on the bottom right corner uh, of their screen, there is a minimap with an orange ribbon. So that ribbon has been set by the crew leader and it's basically leading towards uh, Mont Rushmore. So now those guys are going to get started and are going to drive towards there. Now, are they having a little race in between, each in, in between this? Like yeah, going so head to head against each other? Okay, friendly competition, I would say. <laughs> so here we start, you know, downtown Detroit. Uh, so those guys are really nice. So they, they waited for each other to exit the HQ uh, when uh, they were done with their car. And they are starting, you know, to uh, drive on the roads. And, and I'm loving what I'm seeing on the sky here. Just, just how realistic the sky looks. Ignoring everything else, but as we keep saying, it's such a beautiful game and being so open world, it just looks fantastic. It's incredible. So as you can see, all those, so obviously, uh, here I want to talk about the landscape team that have, uh, the landscape team that has done a great job on the game. Obviously, the recreating the whole of the US was a big challenge. And here you can see some uh, neighborhood uh, in Detroit. So Detroit is, it was important, it's actually where the game starts. Uh, it was important for us because it's actually the uh, place where car culture was born. And, uh, and how, how did you guys get such an accurate uh, 
view of America. You've done such a mad, like a huge I hear, map. I hear it. They sent uh, devs over there. They had a great trip. Of course. That uh, must have been really hard work. Of course. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. a, lot, a lot of hard work. And uh, very, yeah. very, very, very no fun at all. A lot of pictures to take, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, a lot of uh, videos to record. Uh, no, but seriously, wh when those guys go, uh, you know, uh, on site uh, to shoot and take pictures, they actually do work. It's hard to believe, but the, the amount of time that I they spend, uh, they actually don't get that much sleep when they go there. But of course, I must also tell that, you know, we, we got a lot of help from uh, Google Earth, uh, obviously. Got to always credit Google. They, they're, they're involved in some way. When you zoom in and out of MIP, it's like your own private satellite. Yeah, yeah, it, it, exactly that. And uh, Also, Banks, I think we can also say that there's going to be a second way that uh, viewers can be awarded with better keys. Yeah, yeah, they can. And um, the way that will be done, it's going to be random giveaways through Twitch. So what we'll be doing is just nice. picking people, doing a random giveaway. You can kind of roll it out there. And one of you guys viewing right now will be in with a chance to win one of these beta keys. And... They're so limited and they're so rare at the moment. It's um, kind of like gold dust to get, isn't it? It is. So actually, when we announced it during the E3 media briefing, uh, just we had, gold. had so much demand that we had to take down the page, the website page, uh, to fix everything. Oh, wow. So <laughs> mass flood of people all coming to try and get it. And it I heard that we were, we were over uh, 150,000 uh, applications Whoa. for the beta. Wow, that's a lot. We wow. are up to a very good start, and I want uh, as these uh, as the free riders get started towards Mount Rushmore. I want to uh, remember you guys that you can vote for their next destination. So what you want to do is go on Twitter uh, and uh, retweet if you want to go either to Chicago or New York. So by now there should have been two tweets uh, from 909 route. So it's up to you uh, to decide. Yeah, and. Guys, just get on Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter account, make one because you could win a beta key and also you get to choose where we're going to have a look at next. And, um, well, if anything from what we've seen so far, the scenery is beautiful and we definitely want to see some more. And you can see these guys here. They are, um, if we can bring them back on screen, they're playing through this, but they're also doing the little missions as exactly. you go along. So, so those, what we see on screen are basically what we call skill challenges. Now, skill challenges are really interested. They are arcade-oriented mini-games, so short uh, gameplay sessions, uh, up to t 30 seconds. And this one is called a slalom scale, so it's much like going down the ski slope. Uh, <laughs> I'm very good in this. I tried it a couple of times. Are, are you getting these gold medals as well, yeah, Chris? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Bobo uh, is struggling to get the gold medal. Oh, it's gonna Ooh. fail. Ooh. Ooh. But you know, Bobo is, is, is more like the American driver. He's not so good at he, handling. He, he, go. he, 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 he enjoys likes, straight roads. Exactly, he <laughs> likes straight roads, you know. Uh, that's what he does. Just sliding around the corners like, don't work What I well. like about this is that it uh, starts instantly. You don't, you don't have a race lobby, so you drive and you're immediately in the, in the skill challenge. I like that. Yeah, it's one of the key. Um, in, it's one of the key design elements for the game. It's to have that uh, instantaneous, uh, seamless um, experience. So we do everything we can not to frustrate the player and to let him, uh, you know, let him explore uh, the huge playground we have to offer. And and it really is huge. Like it is in huge in, in the sense that we're literally traveling all around America right now, and. Um, just just looking at these guys looking at the different the different maps and the different cars that we're seeing here it's just it's it's fantastic and it literally every time i'm looking i'm seeing something new, new. like yeah. you might revisit the same place but there'll be something changed in the environment and you'll see something different and that's just another fantastic part of the crew it's even more incredible than the map size itself the diversity mm -hmm. It's it's not actually it's not the size that matters. It's the, the you know the richness that we have yes, in the playground, exactly. the the numbers of activities that you know players can uh, jump in and out of. Yes, it's fantastic. I like it. So we will eventually be bringing you guys the, the first match, which is going to be DS Rack versus Q Club. Now, what are you expecting? Because we saw it at the local finals, but this time we're focusing all on PvP. Now, to me, PvP was. The, the really interesting side of things, we saw some real close competition. What do you like about the... So it's the between PPS Dubai place? and... Dubai and DS Rack, which is Copenhagen. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, my heart goes for Dubai because uh, I went there for actually a game exhibition. 
Oh, and, ah, nice. Uh, I was really warmly welcome. Uh, but, you know, my brains go with DS Rag because I saw those guys during the last yeah. uh, previous stream and they were really but nailing They were it. fantastic. There was, there was one moment when they were, um, they were chasing down one of the other cars and they were the only team to completely box him in. They come around both sides, put one in front, and no one else had worked it out. And th to be fair, this game hasn't been out long. Like, these got a few selected people that can play it and they're working out these kind of tactics Tech already. Yes. It's exactly. crazy. So they... they not only did they uh, elaborate, you know, some uh, advanced uh, collaborative strategies, but uh, you know, by watching them uh, race, I also noticed that not only were they were they driving very uh, Skill. precisely, uh, very skillfully, but they were also putting on the show, like taking the jumps that you're not supposed to take if you want. You <laughs> it kind of slows you down, doesn't it? <laughs> exactly. So, guys, we will be getting to a break very shortly. And um, after that, we'll be bringing you hopefully the first game. But Charlie, from you and your team, we'll be seeing a lot more action. Of and course. Um, obviously, you don't even know where we're going to go yet. Exactly. So, guys, remember, it's between Chicago and Detroit. And I must tell you that, you know, there will be a lot of surprises as those free riders uh, get on the road. So, guys, we'll be back in about five minutes with our first game. And uh, we're going to be looking forward to bringing you all the action from that. It'll be myself. Nicholas and MMCK here doing the shout casting. So we'll be back very soon. And for now, goodbye. Bye bye. bye.